The modules in this course will all have the same structure. Let's take a look at the items each module will contain. Each module will start with a module at a glance page that includes an introduction, a reflection question, an overview of the learning objectives for each lesson in the module, and an outline of the module activities. The learning objectives for each lesson are formatted in tabs. This course uses tabs quite often, so make sure you view all tabs on a page to ensure you've seen all the content. You will move through each module in sequential order. In order to move to the next lesson, you will need to mark the current lesson as done. At the bottom right corner of each content page, you will see a button with an open circle labeled Mark as Done beside the Next button, which will take you to the next page. If you attempt to move to the next page without clicking the Mark as Done button on the current page, the module will not let you continue. You will need to go back and choose Mark as Done before moving forward. After the module at a glance page, you will see a module introduction page. Any graphic included in the module will have a link below the image for you to download the PDF if you are using a screen reader or if you want to save the graphic for later reference and use. Below the introductory content, you will see the first interactive activity in the module. All of the activities have unlimited attempts and the latest score is kept, so feel free to retake them as many times as you need to feel confident. Next, you will move on to the first lesson in the module. Each lesson includes an introduction and outlines the learning objectives that will be covered in the lesson. To view the lesson content, navigate through the set of dark green buttons that link to each of the lesson content pages. Go through each page carefully. If there are any videos included in the lessons, you can watch them in Canvas or open them in YouTube. When you have finished reading and watching all of the lesson content, you will participate in the interactive activity at the bottom of the page. Some questions have hints, and some allow you to check your answer before you move to the next question. At any time after submitting the activity, you can review your attempt by clicking the Review button on the Review screen. Once you have submitted the activity and are happy with your work, use the Back to Lesson button at the bottom left corner to return to the lesson page. You will go through the same process for each successive lesson content page. After completing the lesson content pages, you will work through the lesson discussion questions listed in the discussion section. You are invited to take some time to discuss the questions listed in the discussion box with a few colleagues at your organization. At the bottom of the discussion section is a link to a Google Doc containing all discussion and reflection questions for the module. This will function as a journal where you can record and save your responses within the Google Doc. When you click on the link, you will be asked if you want to make a copy of the document. Select Make a Copy and you will be able to edit your own copy of the document in your Google Drive. The Information and Resource Exchange is a place for you to share files, links, videos, advice, and any other helpful resources with others taking the course. As each module has its own Information and Resource Exchange, please post what is relevant to the specific module you are working on. The last part of each lesson is an application exercise that ties together all of the lesson content and asks you to apply that information to your organization. Some application exercises will ask you to download a Google Doc, fill in your responses, and then upload the completed document. The templates, application exercises, and PDFs linked throughout this course are provided as Google files to quickly copy into your personal Google Drive. If you prefer to use Microsoft Office, use this link to download Microsoft Office files. These activities are designed to be helpful to you both now and in the future, so we suggest saving your completed documents to your computer for future reference. If you don't have the time to complete all of these activities as you go through the course, you can also save them to complete at a later date. At the end of each module is a check for understanding. Each check for understanding has five to six questions to test your knowledge of the information covered in the module. You cannot check your answers during the check for understanding, but after submitting, you can review your responses and the correct answers and then retake it if you choose. After the check for understanding is a two question reflection on what you felt was most helpful in the module and any suggestions to improve it. After completing the module reflection and moving to the next page, you will revisit the reflection question that was posed at the beginning of the module. You will then see a congratulations message summarizing the now completed module. You can choose to return to the home page or move on to the next module by clicking the next button.